Taking a look at the starting 11, you see the town. They've been forced into four changes. LA also forced into changes. Ordaz, as well as a few other key pieces with the first team. So the town in the black with white numbers going from left to right on your screen. LA in the white with black numbers going from right to left. Perfect inversion on the kits tonight for the town. And we've already alluded to the youth on the flanks for LA. But June Darbo and Charlie Rosenthal, both teenagers, getting starts on the match's first corner here for LAFC2. The black and gold from the far flag. And Swinger is stood up by Walls. And smashed away only as far as Luca Bombino. Said he felt like the match changed there. Here's Flores. It's an enticing cross, which is cut out unconvincingly. And ultimately, Wallace, Walls does enough to set up a goal kick for Ochoa, but be part of a thrilling 3-2 victory in Salt Lake when there was snow on the pitch. Snow in May, it's not exactly a ideal condition for anyone playing on a football pitch. It was a hard fought result that night. Official who is unmoved. Medina. A young prodigy for this Town FC squad. He'll win the match's first enticing set piece of the night. Just Blanca stands over it. So troublesome from these scenarios. He's hunting the run of Edwards. It pings out only as far as Bo LaRue. The San Jose State product. For Edwards. Edwards to restart this on the long throw. Pushing and shoving in the box, and the whistle sounds against the home side. They look long for Blancas, who gives chase to this. Catches up to it before it's now scored. Over 20 goals in less than three seasons in MLS Next Pro. One throw from Edwards. It found Bilter's head. Didn't quite do much more than that for a shakier start to the year. Saw one fly in the back of the net and says he's played much smoother and his body language and confidence has been much better. Here's the long ball to Edwards. Flag comes up before he slots that one into the back of the net. for Aaron Edwards, the former UCLA man. And Bilter's in space. It's line. Mendoza. And finally, the whistle sounds for the town. Rosenthal, the English-American. Decent looking cross, was hunting Matt Evans, and ultimately the ball just crack out, but they've pivoted a bit to some first team reserves with Ochoa between the sticks tonight. It'll be Musto to stand over this. An arching ball towards the back post. Falls to the feet of Matt Evans. And here's Rosales up from center back. It's a floated cross. And the chance still alive. Three separate opportunities, and this one ricochets off the post. Chance here for LA, and it is from the tenacity. Of here is the delivery. It's high and arcing to the back stick. Edwards got a head to it. It narrowly skews that beyond the near post. Darbo, 17-year-old dynamic winger. Wins well with Juan Chope and wins his side a set piece. And that will lead to the match's first card of the night. Great link-up play between Darbo and Juan Chope. And it's a 50-50 challenge here, but Barra comes in with his studs up and that 
will warrant a manufacture a moment of magic before the break. Cleared only as far as Juan Chope. Chipped ball, looking for the head of Flores, and it's an excellent stop by Emi Ochoa. Well, hearing word, it'll be no stoppage time. They blow the whistle right as the clock hits 45. An opening 45 minutes in which chances were at the ultimate premium. And there have been moments of opportunity for both squads, but work around the final third has been shaky by both outfits so far. Here's Blancas, the top scorer the last two campaigns for the town. It's a good looking cross towards the head of Donnery. Required the attention of... Loses out to Juan Chope. It's one back up field. Medina tries from afar, and it was worth a crack. Donnery. Now some space for Medina. Tries, and this one draws the attention of David Ochoa. It forces a necessary stop. 17-year-old who has already made waves in the next pro ranks. North Texas last weekend, and now hoping to at least ensure results. Flores, though, may have other ideas. An excellent bit of individual skill. Closed down in the end quite well by Walls and then loses his footing. A couple of big chances have gone begging and that half chance snuffed out before it could materialize. Medina in the box, tries from afar and an excellent stop from David Ochoa. Cruz Medina. It'll be a throw instead for Edwards. Finds the feet of Flores. And a tussle with Edwin Mendoza, and the whistle sound. The Earthquakes Academy is slowly becoming one of the more renowned ones in MLS. Here's Bombino on the underlap. Has some space. Bombino narrowly misses the far post. First time ball is right into the legs of Nixon. Wins it back, and now the whistle finally sounds. Here's Juan Chope, now Darbo. Has room to cross, it's low, it comes to Flores, and he couldn't wrap his feet around it. Darbo. Flores looking for space to cross, goes to the back post, found Rosenthal's head and it ricochets off him for a goal kick. Chance creation tonight. And now here's Rosenthal. Space to cross, was looking for Flores, and it's too tight on walls, but has no choice but to clear it out for a corner. Someone who a couple weeks ago produced a three assist master class. It's a good looking in swinger. It came to Darbo's head, but not able to redirect number it. Number 40, Christopher Jaime, in for number 60, Matias Wanto. Wreck silly tonight. It is Alex Chow who replaces him on the wing. Meanwhile, Juan Chope replaced by Jaime. Also in the 60 seconds minute of play, the town FC substitute. Bajum Darbo. Ibarra. Good ball to the edge of the area. It comes through. Curling effort, and it's just wide of that far post. Bo LaRue had the goal at his mercy. Well, what a chance that was for the town. Bo LaRue just unable to place it, but it might not be lost just yet. Blancas overcooks it. Rosenthal growing into the match. 
nearly found Flores. Didn't get enough. Blancas and LaRue having big opportunities on the other side of things from the town. Jaime wins this back. Now charges into the area, found Flores, and he wrong foots him. Was hoping to redirect that. Wanted the run of Medina and left it dangling just a touch. Flores flipped at the heels and Bo LaRue drawing the ire of the official. He enters the book for the town. This is textbook. See the field opening up a little for Flores who comes deeper to claim and LaRue goes studs up. Inside the final 20 minutes of the opening 90. Bombino's cross is hoofed clear. Musto to deliver this corner kick. Out swinger towards the back post. Headed down. Cleared only as far as Bombino. Wiboo. So dangerous for LA this season. Flores. Now Wiboo drives it in. It's right at Ochoa. A quick reflex save from Emmy, the 19. Emmy Ochoa having issues clearing. Ball comes loose. It is a professional tackle in the end. And Alejandro Cano will enter the referee's book. Ochoa here came off his line and perhaps wasn't the right decision. Cano dives in, trying to stab it away. And Jaime. Links well with Evans. Now Waboo. Waboo drives it off the post. Inches away from opening the scoring. Nearly making all the difference. Weaving through defenders. Tries to hit this with the outside of his boot and curl it. Edwards. Options ahead. Looking for Blancas. Eduardo Blancas. Just unable to chip it over Ochoa. Does he have one more set piece spectacular in his locker? No, he does not. Whistle sounds, a scoreless draw in the Deco Derby between the town and LAFC two. Blancas against Ochoa to begin the shootout tonight. Blancas converts, cool as you like. And take LA's first penalty. Here is Guerra, drives it into the bottom right. Perfectly placed. 20-year-old San Jose State product to take the next penalty for the town. And just dribbles it underneath David Ochoa. Emmy Ochoa. Wow, sensational penalty. He converted his last penalty against Houston a couple weeks ago. Medina against Ochoa, and Medina drives it into the top right. A long run up here for Evans. Stutter step, and a clinical finish. So an opportunity to rectify things from the spot for Walls. And it's saved again! Ochoa denies him twice for the price of one. Flores against Ochoa. And it's saved by Emmy Ochoa. Advantage neutralized. Now squaring off against David Ochoa. The fifth penalty of this shootout for both teams. Edwards and just underneath the outstretched glove of Ochoa to keep LA's hopes alive for the additional point. His first penalty of the season. And he drives it home, makes no mistake. And Alex Chow, the substitute, is the man standing over this. Chow converts. Musto, and just drives it in. Jermaine Spivey, perfect placement in the top left. Jaime against Emmy Ochoa. And it's saved! 
The town secure the extra point in a marathon that comes to a conclusion in the seventh round of spot kicks.